Hi, this is Ben Wickler, chair of the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. Here is something shocking, that we don't need the January 6th committee in order to find out. There are at least three insurrectionists running for Congress right now. In Wisconsin's third congressional district, there's Derek Van Orden. In Ohio's ninth congressional district, there's J.R. Majewski. In North Carolina's first congressional district, there's Sandy Smith. And all three were at the Capitol on Capitol grounds on January 6th, 2021. All three are trying to flip blue districts red and all three are getting national support from the GOP. If they were part of maybe the greatest crime against American democracy when they were on the outside of Congress, can you think of the damage that they would inflict from the inside? Click on the link in this post or go to wisdems.org slash democracy defense. That's W-I-S-D-E-M-S dot O-R-G slash democracy defense. And you can donate right now to the three Democrats who can stop the three insurrectionists, Brad Path, Marcy Kaptur, and Don Davis. These house races could be nail biters and your donation, even if it's small, could make a huge difference. While you're filling in your credit card info, let me tell you about each of the three insurrectionists. Derek Van Orden, who moved to Wisconsin a few years ago, bragged in a memoir he wrote about manliness that he had harassed female junior ranking service members while he was in uniform. He ran for Congress in 2020 and lost, even while Trump carried that congressional district. But then he used his leftover campaign funds to travel to the insurrection in Washington, DC. After that, after he got back, he got put on probation for trying to bring a loaded gun on a plane in Iowa. And then he blew his top at a 17 year old library page because he was mad that a small town library had an LGBTQ book display. The Democrat running against Derek Van Orden is Wisconsin State Senator Brad Paff, who grew up on a dairy farm in Western Wisconsin and currently represents a purple district in the state Senate. He's exactly the right kind of representatives for this swing seat. Let's send Brad Paff to Congress. Click to donate now. J.R. Majewski of Ohio claims that he brought 60 to 70 people to the Capitol on January 6th. He's in tight with the QAnon crowd and claimed that he'd been deployed to Afghanistan when he was in the Air Force, which from what an AP investigation can tell, isn't uh, true. He's trying to unseat Marcy Kaptur, the longest serving woman in Congress in a district that the GOP just redrew in order to defeat Marcy Kaptur. Let's help Marcy beat Jared Majewski, make a donation right now and keep this insurrectionist organizer out of the house. And lastly, there's Sandy Smith. How much of a MAGA extremist is Sandy Smith? She's the kind of MAGA extremist who was endorsed by Roger Stone. Facing allegations of physical abuse, she announced in her ad that, quote, I never ran over anyone with a car and I never hit anyone in the head with a frying pan, which is not the most comforting thing to hear from a candidate. Let's make sure that Don Davis, an Air Force officer, mayor, and six-term state senator, defeats her on November 8th. Chip in to help. Look, in America, most of us believe that voters should decide elections, not insurrectionists. No matter where we live or what we look like, the idea that voters determine who our leaders should be is a bedrock principle of American democracy. But these three Trump Republicans tried to overturn the will of the people on January 6th. They were there as people stormed the Capitol, chanting, hang Mike Pence. If we don't want another January 6th, it's up to all of us to make sure that the insurrectionist three don't win congressional seats on November 8th. Chip in or head to wisdoms.org slash democracy defense, that's W-I-S-D-E-M-S dot O-R-G slash democracy defense and share this video.